In today's video, I'll show you how we can create a TrueNAS share using the TrueNAS scale. So here I'm on my TrueNAS scale and I'll be logging into TrueNAS and on main dashboard, you can see the TrueNAS system information. Down here, you can see the network information, the memory information and CPU information. But here on the storage, you can see the storage information. I have the storage pool, which is created from the two drives. So this is one mirror, which is right now 3 TB and the disk health is good. The ZFS, which is mirror is good and pool status is online. Inside the storage, I have of course created the data sets. So this is the main data set, the primary data set, which is created with the name of data store. So inside one storage pool, this is the primary storage pool and inside this data store, I created multiple sets. So if I show you here, this one, for example, the MJ data, this is also created inside the data set. So I'll be creating a new data set here. If I go here, I can add a new data set. What is that data set? That data set is in fact a folder that can be used for various purposes for various services. So let me add this data set here. Once I add this data set, you can see here that the parent path is data store. Of course, right now only one data store is created, which is the data store. I'll be giving it a name. I'll be using this for the purpose of phone dash data. Comment will be to backup phone data, Android and iOS. These settings are default. I have explained you the details of all these settings, why we are using all these settings. ZFS deduplication inherent by default it will be off. And I'll be simply saving this folder now. Now you can see it has created a phone data folder, but right now the permission is only to root, which means that no other user can access this. Of course, I want the user to access this. I want to create a new user and I want to make sure that that user has access to this particular folder. But right now this folder is not having any service enabled. You can see here, if I show you phone data, it is unencrypted, but there is no role right now assigned to it. If I go here also, so there is permission, which is by default to root, but these are the multiple users which are created here. I'll be showing you how to create a new user and how to assign the role to that user. And then that user will be able to access the folder. Here, I'll be going to credentials on this side and in credentials, you can see local users. These are all the users. So I'll be creating a new user called phone it has already automatically created the strong password but i'll be using my own password here and here it has automatically assigned the uuid which is fine it will be primary group and here home directory you can see here for this particular user i want to assign that home directory which was in data store and we created that folder called phone data so this will be the primary folder for this user and what will be the permission given to this user user will be able to read write and execute this folder and whether you want to create a home directory i won't be creating this that will become the home directory of this user and i'll save it now existing directory will be used as a home directory without creating a new directory yes i want that now you can see that the phone user is created which is not a built-in user its uuid is 3002 and you can see here details that the home directory for this particular user is phone data now what will happen here of course the user is having access to this folder if i go here to data set to this particular folder which we just created right now phone data and here if you see now the users phone is having read write and execute access to this and owner is also phone now what we need to do here, we need to go to shares because if you see this particular folder is not shared on the network or this is not having any service or any role. So what this folder was created for, why we created this folder? Of course, I want to use this as a Samba storage. I want to use this as a NAS storage so that my, on my network, my phone will be able to store the data to this particular folder. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to assign the role to this folder. I can do it from here, but I'll be going here to shares. Inside shares, you can see these are the shares names that we had created. These are not the folders name. So these are linked to this path. 
For example, I created photos and photos are linked to this path. I created public, public is linked to this path. These are Windows share, these are the Unix shares and here is the iSCSI. So iSCSI is not running right now, I'll show you that also. But I'll be creating a new Windows Samba share to backup from my phone directly whether it is Android or iOS. I'll be creating path will be the same phone data. This is the phone data and the name is also phone data by default. Description will be phone backup on network and here i'll go to advanced settings you can see here that whether you want to allow the guest access i'll not allow the guest access i will only allow the access control list which means that whatever users has been enabled for this particular folder only they will be having access to this now here down you can see all other options in case you want to block any specific host i can do that but i'll be saving it right now so i'll restart the service now you can see here to this particular default user phone is only having access and others are not having any access so others will not have read and execute access also others group will also not have any read and write access phone user will be having access i'll set the access control list now and that's it you can see here that the smb service has enabled for this particular folder which means that i can now access this folder on my network let me try to access this on my network now and here in finder if i go here and i can create a connect to server you want to connect to samba server and that samba server will be 192.168.240.10 this is my server ip address i'll try to connect and here I'll be giving the user which I created phone as a user and I created the password and remember this and connect. Now you can see here that I can access phone data folder which is my default folder and connect. Now you can see here this is my phone data folder which is already connected and I can of course access this folder. I can add the new file from here for example if I copy this file from here and I'll be pasting it to the phone data and here you go so now this particular folder this particular file is stored on my network storage and that is connected to my TrueNAS I'll be showing you how we can store the files from the phone to the TrueNAS so continue to the next video and see how we can connect using iPhone and using Android phone. So see you in next video. Take care and goodbye.